All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new game called Steel Rising. This game caught my eye. It looks absolutely awesome. It's kind of like a Souls-like game. I would say it looks more like Bloodborne than anything, but yeah, it's set in like an 18th century um, alternate universe where France has been overrun by robots um, under the command of King Louis. So this is gonna be a super fun one. I don't know too much about the game. I just looked a little bit into the backstory to check if it's my thing. I'm coming in kind of a little bit blind. I did see a gameplay trailer trailer and uh, I was like yep I'm sold I don't need to see anything else and uh, I'm gonna try and see if we can beat the first boss without rage quitting so let's jump in I believe it is a little bit easier um than maybe like a Dark Souls or Elden Ring but we'll see how it goes I did complete Bloodborne and um, but I needed the help of co-op I still haven't completed Elden Ring yet I need to get back to that at some point but please do drop a like if you want to see this as a series I probably will maybe to play a little bit more of this without uh videos and try and do a preview for you guys or something like that um I do only have one day until embargo, so I'm not sure I'm going to get much of a chance, but we'll try it out and we'll see how it goes. So they have an assisted mode here, um, which allows players to experience the game while tailoring the challenge to suit their own preference and abilities. Please note, however, by deactivate, yada, yada, yada. Um, okay, let's just do standard mode. I'm going to leave that uh, disabled for now. Let's uh, start new game and let's do this. Maybe I'll have to turn that on eventually if I'm uh, if I'm trash at this. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but we're going to have some fun with it regardless. We're definitely going to have some fun with it. It looks beautiful. Uh, set in France, as I said, in Paris, I believe. Oh, pardon. You know, actually, I think I'm in no mood for games right now. How much longer are we to be kept here? Are we just simply watch as Paris burns from afar? The rabble are rioting. This is the price to be paid for spoiling the masses. You don't understand, Gabrielle. The king sent us here long before the city went up in flames. He knew what was about to transpire. I think he is somehow involved in these events. Oh, come now, Marie. True, he can be misguided and somewhat short-tempered at times, but he's no Nero. Then why have we been given no news for so long? Place on for Gabriel. The children. They'll soon be out of harm's way. I am most certain of it. Monsieur Clary will take good care of them. For now, at least we are safe. Safe, Vraiment. Where are the Chateau Guards? We are still protected. The King just preferred to use a different sort of guard. I think that may be us. Guards? Or jailers? They won't even let us leave this room, Gabrielle. The King? He has lost his mind to grief. First our darling, Sophie. Then our beloved son. My poor sweet angel. They didn't let me say goodbye. I wasn't even allowed to see him. Seraph. Something inside me is, is crying out. Telling me he's still of this world at, at times. I think I hear him calling to me. I'm so afraid. What do you fear, my queen? Everything. Everything horrifies me. The king's wrath, his army of indefatigable automats that Monsieur de Vaucanson has built for him. The charlatans who advise him, who are now more powerful than ministers. What happened to my son? What will happen to the children that God has deigned to leave in my care? I won't let any harm come to them. This I promise you. But how? Do you not see that we're prisoners here? All is not lost. You forget about the one automat that is not hostile to us. This new bodyguard of yours. I think that's going to be us, right? Yeah. Um. So this, I meant to say at the start as well, is from the same developers that um, that made Greedfall, which was a game I really enjoyed. I never actually got around to finishing Greedfall, but I did enjoy what I played of it. And, you know... It has that same level of kind of like double A production rather than like it being a triple A game or whatever. So what we can have like, oh, is this our, is this our material or? I think the designs are the same on all of them. It's just more prominent on the white one, the way it looks or whatever. So we'll go with that. Starting class. Okay, there's classes and stuff. Now, as I said, I'm going in kind of blind here, but 
We have a bodyguard, heavy weapon, special move block, uh, petrific petrification grenade, projectile that can temporarily immobilize an enemy. Uh, bodyguards can rely on their strength to withstand hits and deal heavy physical damage to enemies. Okay. Dancers are highly resilient and can chain attacks together in quick succession to immobilize enemies and inflict critical hits. And then we have the alchemist. Alchemist's favorite alchemist, uh, alchemist. Alchemy kill weapons, Jesus, I can't speak, that can ignite, freeze, or electrocute their enemies and cause persistent elemental afflictions. That could be fun. I feel like that's kind of like the magey one. I think that sounds like the most fun for me. We have glass core battens, uh, light weapon. What are we, Dick Grayson here? Hell yeah. I love Dick Grayson. Pause. This machine? There is a little bit of jank, though. Understand what we say to it? C'est terrible. Yes, but it is loyal to you. That's all that matters. Damn right. If it managed to escape the chateau, it could be your eyes and ears in Paris. And if, perchance, the other automats were to go after it? You won't attempt anything foolish. I cannot lose you, Gabrielle. Not now. All right, let's see what this gameplay is like. I'm excited. Madame. Uh, the king must be stopped. The very kingdom is at stake. Go and find Vaucanson at his workshop. Ni les invalides. He surely holds the secret to these tireless automats. All right. And perhaps he will know something about the death of my son. How am I to leave the chateau grounds, madame? Go to the river bank at the far side of the grounds. From there you can take a boat to Paris. That sounds fun. You wanted to find Vaucanson? Vraiment? What if he is the one who is responsible for this unrest? What Vaucanson has done, ma chère. Only Vaucanson can I do. Yeah, you two stay here. Stay put. Don't do anything stupid. And uh, I'll get back to you, alright? Alright, I'm excited to see how this gameplay all works. In memory of the Dauphin. Investigate the death of the Dauphin. Alright, we can lock on. Okay, we can... Dodge. Come on, what's up? Oh! <laughs> Ooh, it's a charged heavy attack. Awesome. All right. You can assign consumables to the quick access belt so that you can use them at any time. Okay. Sounds good to me. Alchemil. Uh, okay. So we want to have one of these equipped, obviously. Uh, we'll equip that to A. We'll equip that to B. We'll equip that to C. Well, this token allows Aegis to return to the last Vestal or carriage she visited. It is reusable. However, all anima essence is lost with each uh, use. Okay. So we don't want to be using that too much. Alchemical capsule. Okay. Repair Aegis using a consumable. So we want to... There we go. That's how we heal ourselves up. Okay. Beautiful. The world itself looks cool. Definitely there's some jank in the cutscenes and stuff like that, which is uh, what I expected after playing Greedfall. That's definitely the same thing in Greedfall, but it's like... Greedfall really... It's, it doesn't, like, affect it too much in the long run. Like, it would be great if it was all gone, obviously, but eh, it's part of the charm somehow. L2, special move for the equipped weapon. Warning, using the special move may consume Alcabo. Okay. Okay, just like our enemy's weapons, Aegis's own weapon can cause alchemical... Why do I keep saying alchemical? Alchemical damage, flame frost, and fulmination when she uses alchemical capsules for each such attack. Okay, when full triggers an affl affliction, which lasts until the gauge is depleted. Flame affliction ignites its target, causing continuous damage. Um, frost affliction freezes its target on the spot. Okay. Overheating and rapid cooling. Actions consume endurance. When Aegis runs out of endurance, her gears overheat and she can no longer perform the following actions. Attack, jump, dodge, sprint. Okay, 
When overheated, you can trigger rapid cooling, which can instantly restore an amount of endurance depending on your timing. However, this inflicts a certain amount of frost damage as shown in the following gauge. Note, using it too soon after overheating will prolong the proheating. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Ha! What up, bitch? Let's go. All right, let's heal up. Ordinary oil vial. What does that do? A slow acting distillate. This ordinary oil repairs a small amount of non structural damage suffered by automats. Okay. So we'll have that in there somewhere as well. We have six slots, which is quite a decent amount. What's in our journal there? In the Queen's drawing room, we have, we have side quests as well. Okay. In memory of the dolphin, the Queen's sobs still echoed in Aegis's mind. The king, he has lost his mind to grief. We have a codex as well. Eugene. King Louis, there he is. Marie Antoinette, Charlotte and the Petit Dolphin, Gabrielle. Who is Gabrielle? For 14 years, Gabrielle has held a coveted position of the Queen's favourite. Armed with her charm and playful demeanour, she was able to win the heart of the young sovereign, who was at the time overcome by loneliness at a court that did not much care for her. To seal their friendship, the Queen made Gabrielle the governess of her children. Okay, that's cool. So these are the first uh, type of automat that we've come across, is the Sinistral Prototype. There's another one right here ahead of us. There's two, actually. Alright, who wants it? Come on, boy. Let's have it, son. Ooh, nice dodge. Okay, I need to remember to actually dodge, though. Because I'm not really doing that. You want some, mate? Oh, damn it. There's two of them. We're dead. We're gonna die here. Everybody stay calm. Gotta remind myself that I can't use too much endurance here. What's the thing I used to... What's the button I used again to... What's up now? You're getting freeze damage, boy. You're dead, son. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Oh, we're out of stamina. Shit, shit, shit. We're good. Hey, not cool. All right, got them both. Definitely uh, got to play the patient game a little bit. We're low on health here. That gives us a little bit of health at least. Ah, oh, it like slowly improves our health as we go. We're out of health vials now though, so that's not good. Can I pick them up along the way somewhere? Is there a way to do that? Or way to sprint? Yes, we can sprint with L3. Okay, there's another one here. God darn it. Come on, boy. So how far up can I, like... Okay, not that far. Nice. That does a lot of damage. Jesus. How do I block? L2? No. Not both. L2? Is there a block button, actually? I'm not sure that there is. Rusty key. I'm guessing that might open this door. Let me just check if there's a block button because uh, I don't see that anywhere. I don't think there is a block button. Bishop's hook. Okay, so there's like special moves as well. L1 and square and stuff like that. Do special moves. So no block button. Okay, so it's definitely not like Dark Souls in that way. There's Dark Souls, you got to be blocking a lot. More of a dodge, dodge mechanic. Rusty key into the gardens we go. Right. Now. The dodge seems to be, the dodge mechanic seems to be like a little bit like random. Hey, you're dead, son. Gotcha. I'm not getting any health is the problem. Oh, what does this give us? Ordinary oil vial, thank you. Alright, we needed that badly. So if if I like knock down these crates and stuff, no, I can't do those ones. It's like actual barrels. Hello? Anybody present? Activating Vestals creates a checkpoint where Aegis will be repaired if she breaks. We can upgrade attributes by spending anima essence, upgrade equipment, and obtain equipment. Okay, cool. That sounds really good actually. Okay, let's do this then. Activate Vestal. Let's upgrade our shit! Oh, this looks pretty cool. 
All right, upgrades, cost to improve. We need 1,000. How much do we have? 491. Is there anything I can improve with 491? It doesn't seem like it, so we need a lot more anima essence before doing any of that. Requires one key to unlock. Not enough resources. Okay, we need a module key. Okay. Can we upgrade our, um, our weapon? All right, then let's get the hell out of here, I think. I'll keep that essence of a lesser spirit until we, like, actually need to use that thing, right? All right, there's a guy. Do you think I can jump on him? That was pretty badass, not gonna lie to you. That was pretty cool. It used all of our stamina, though. What the hell are you doing, sir? <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you do that? That really didn't do anything, huh? Like, I thought that was gonna be, like, do some cool move there or whatever, but it really didn't. All right, gotcha, sucker. Alchemical capsule. I don't actually know what those do. Like, do those do anything? I'm not exactly sure. I'm guessing this one down here that's alive as well. Oh, shit. Oh, God, where'd you come from, pal? Damn it, really? Oh, Jesus, there's two now. All right, we're in trouble. I'm gonna get through here. Lead them in here. Come on, boys. No way you hit me with that, bro. When I come up here, they just run. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that was sick. That was really cool, actually. Can I pick this up, please? There you go. Did not mean to do that, but fuck it. All right, let's go down and attack him. I'm still getting used to the controls here, guys. This is... Yeah, this guy kind of does like a double attack. Oh, I have no stamina. Okay, so if you attack at the same time, he still hits you. Like, you don't stun him or anything if you hit him first. Which is something that I was kind of wondering about. Alright, where did... Oh, there you are. I was going to say, where'd this other sucker go? That's such a cool way to take them down, so you can kind of just stealthily take them down like that. Alright. Come on, boy! Stealth attack. And the red indicator appears, press over one. That's what I was doing before. I already did that a few times. Awesome. And we got an ordinary oil vial off him, too! Perfecto! So stealth taking him out is gonna definitely be the way to do it, if you can. If you can stealthily do it, that's what you want to do, of course. Granite cobblestone. Who's this dead guy? Oh shit. Damn it. Alright, you see me now. Hey, buddy. Just not cool. Alright? Come on, attack. What's up, boy? Come on, you want some? I'll give you a. Bah! Alright. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Open sesame. Pick it up. Raid 1 Longevity Module. You have just obtained a new module. You can assign it to a module slot of the same level from the module menu. Okay. Uh, do I want this one? This module slightly reduces the internal damage caused by rapid cooling. This module slightly increases health. I'm definitely going for the one that slightly increases health. I feel like that'll be a, a lot better for sure. Why is it telling me like a oh, granite cobblestone was the new thing that I have? Loose cobblestones can be thrown at enemies to draw their attention in the days leading up to the attack by the mechanical army. Parisians who refuse to accept the clockwork's tyrants' threats pray, uh, pride them out of the roads to erect barricades in a massive paltry makeshift arsenal. Okay, so we can throw that, throw them at an enemy. We almost have a thousand now, which is enough for an upgrade as well of this animus essence shit, whatever they called it, animus. I'm playing too much Assassin's Creed right now. Another ordinary oil vial. Hell uh, yeah. We got five right now. Oh my god. Killed by the automats that replaced them. Oh. Well, this seems like yikes, man. 
Governor Dafri confirms that no command was given to replace your company with a detachment of automats. I therefore urge you until further notice to keep your distance from these machines and to inform me of any signs of hostility. Do not engage unless Her Majesty the Queen is in danger. Reinforcements are en route. Lieutenant Colonel de Bachmann, second in command of the place de Saint Cloud. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's not good. A bloody nose. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, no, no. I wanted to do this thing first. Ah! I have to defeat this motherfucker first, huh? How the fuck do you expect me to deal with this, man? What in the world are you doing to me here? Jesus, Lord. What's up, sucker? Oh, I'm out of stamina. Dude, getting brr, stamina is such a fucking pain in the ass. Oh my god, we're so fucked right now. Keeping stamina is not easy either, is it? God damn it, man. You're fucking with me. No, no, no. Please don't do this. I need to get rid of this goddamn additional guy. Dude, get off, please. Come on. What's up, baby? You want to go? Let's go. Yes, got the one. Got the one, sucker. Come on. What's up now, boy? You want to mess with me? Let's go. Come on, I'm ready. Come on, boy. I am playing games no more. Oh, shit. I am playing games. I am playing games. I was just kidding. That was sick. That was sick. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was sick. I'm running. Everybody stay calm. Come on, be patient. I got this. Yeah! What's up, bitch? Oh, come up on me like that again, boy. Boss number one is down. You have just obtained a module key. Aegis has several slots for modules that augment her stats and alter the behavior of certain mechanics. The slots have levels that allow Aegis to fit increasingly powerful modules. To unlock a slot with the module key you just obtained, go to the upgrades menu at a Vestal. Note you can equip modules at any time from Aegis's module menu. Okay, sweet. Let's go, boys. That was massive. First boss fight in the bag, boys. Let's have it. Come on. All right. Do we have a thousand of this shit as well? Surely we do at this point, right? Yeah, 1,500. Okay, so do I go power? Do I go agility? Do I go elemental alchemy? Do I go engineering? Like, what is the best course of action to do for my build specifically? Is what I need to know. Like, um, physical damage goes up. Frost damage goes up like that. I need to be using that more, though. My special ability or whatever. I'm not using that enough. I'm going to put up my, my regular, like, physical damage, I think, though. Because that, obviously, is, is going to come in handy as well. I'm going to put up my res regular f physical damage for now. So durability is always going to be handy as well, putting up your health or whatever. We don't have enough to do two right now, but that's okay. So three keys upgrades a slot. Is it better to upgrade a slot, you think? Or is it better to... I had enough to upgrade my glass core battens as well. That might have been a might have been a good move. We do have another module slot. Essence of a lesser spirit. Oh, what does it give me? 300? I have 10 of those. Wait, wait, wait. Should I use those? Hang on. Oh, I don't have 10 of those. It gives us 250 anima. I probably shouldn't use that right now. Because I have 838. I'm going to use lose it all if I die. Alright. Uh, grade 1 efficient ventilation module. Yeah, let's use that as well. Because I do need to be doing that more. Like, when I run out of stamina, just tap triangle. I know it damages me a little bit, but I think uh, to get a few attacks off, it will, it will kind of benefit us as well. But I'm learning, guys. I'm learning, you know? I'm getting there. Bob, See ya. Those stealth attacks are just one shot no matter what to these guys, are they? Alright, what do you have, buddy? An insulation elixir. What does that do? Have a look and see. Insulation elixir. When designing the Royal Army's alchemical arsenal, lightning-based weapons were the most challenging to develop. There had been several cases of automats destroying themselves in their own fulmination attacks. So the development of this insulating elixir, which acts as an antidote, proved to be invaluable. Single use. Okay. 
we're fighting someone with like lightning or thunder, I guess that'll be pretty handy. All right, where are we off to now is the question. How do I bloody get out of this place or did I just come down here to fight the boss? Oh, I can go up over that log over there, I believe. Jump! Jump, woman! We have 909. We nearly have enough to upgrade again. Ooh, lots of, uh, lots of loot here. Really cool way to open a chest, actually. Charleville 19... Uh, 1789 shield musket. Oh, we have a new weapon. Hmm. Okay, we have a weapon B slot. I didn't even realize that. So, what is that? How do I use this one? How do I use weapon B is the question. Switch between your two equipped weapons. Ah. Okay. Shit. Awesome. Let's try this gun out. Come at me, boy. <laughs> and then you can kind of switch this one and then just... Oh, I did not mean to do that. I just threw the cobblestone at him. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> That was just straight disrespectful. I'm in the middle of fucking this guy up and I just throw a rock at him. <laughs> that seems like a really beautiful combo to do, though. Like, use this and then switch to the... Uh, that seems like it could really benefit us. We'll try it here on this guy. And it cobblestone. All right, here we go. Wait, this guy to my left, is he? Oh, no, he's down below. Oh, shit. And then switch, and then... Oh, they get stunned for a long time, too, so that is just absolutely gorgeous. That is simply, simply lovely. We have over 1,000, by the way, now. So now would be a good time to find another one of those things, although we did just find one, so I highly doubt it. Oh, we have some new gear. We have a hat. Uh. <laughs> looks stupid on us, though. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Is this better than what we have? We look stupid, but... I mean, it's an improvement, so. Can't come. Oh, Jesus, who the fuck are you? See ya. Thanks for coming, lady. Pop. Oh, that was class. Jesus, this combo is honestly a little too lethal. I don't know if people are going to be able to handle this combo. The gun switch to the, uh... The battens? It's too much for people. Wait, really? That didn't hit? You're kidding me right now. Alright. Go back down the stairs. See ya, buddy. See if we can get back up and do it to this guy in time. <laughs> Sucker! God, you guys are not quick enough for me anymore. That's a fact. You guys are just not going to be quick enough for me. It's bad for you guys. I'm telling you right now, it's bad for you guys. This new combo is too much for people. They're not going to be able to front with me. We only have 32 bullets. We only have a certain amount of bullets for it. Is that it? Or what does that 32 even mean then if not if not if it's not about ammo? Really? Yeah, hey, you gotta be pretty close to them. Yeah, that's definitely ammo. Yeah, I need to not be using so much ammo, man. Bop. See you lady, thanks for coming. Like how do I replenish the ammo is the question. Is there a way to replenish the ammo, or what happens when it runs out? I'm not sure. Pick up. Nemesis Claws. Finding one's way. You have just acquired a compass. You can assign the compass to the quick access spell so that you can use it at any time but to see the way to your destination. Open the inventory to equip the compass. Okay, hell yeah. That sounds like pretty awesome. Oh, we just got a new, new, uh, new weapon. All right. Let's see if it's better than the battens. It's agility, power affinity goes down, physical's down, immobilization goes up. Nah, I don't think it's worth it, really. Physical damage is lower. Immobilization does go up a lot, though. What's immobilization exactly do? Okay, so it's more focused for counterattacking. Okay. Lantern, the new place, and of course, the Serpent Stalker. So that's what they're called. The Serpent Stalker, armed with two fearsome smithers. 
How do I pronounce that? The stalker delivers sharp blows that an unarmored opponent is unlikely to survive. Okay. Sounds good. So let's get the compass out now. Let's use it. And how does it tell? Oh, okay. Cool. Shows me like how, where to go pretty much exactly. Okay, you got skills, lady. You got skills, yo. All right, let's use this thing. Let's activate the Vestal. Oh, we only have 1393. Maybe I could sell some stuff. I was going to maybe upgrade the weapon that we have. Also, we would need a bronze ingot to upgrade it anyway, so we don't we can't do that right now anyway. So, let's upgrade our durability. Let's do our health. I mean, health is never going to never going to go wrong. You can never go wrong with your health, mate. Simple as that. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh shit, where'd you come from? Stupid lady. <laughs> Sucker. Can't deal with that combo. I should probably be saving the bullets a little bit. Well, it actually seems like... They just stay the same sometimes. I don't understand it, really. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this guy's lethal. Now you're not so lethal, are you, pal? You bitch! Oh, this guy's actually really tough. Oh, I'm gonna die here. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're dead. Gotcha. I haven't even took damage in so long, guys. Well, I took a little bit there, actually, but... I haven't taken a serious amount of damage in a while. Alright, is this guy... Did I sneak around the back of him, you think? I don't even know which way you're facing, to be honest. You don't have a face, so how am I meant to know? Alright. Alright, watch this. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the stealth attacks. They're beautiful. I'm guessing we can't go through there. No. Nope. And there's another chest here. Oh, shit, you stupid little munter. Oh, shit, she got serious fire damage. Jesus Christ. Lady needs to chill. All right, you're dead, though. I'm still on fire. How do I How do I stop myself from being on fire? Guys, how do I stop myself? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Everything's okay. Everybody stay calm. Everybody just needs to calm down right now. That lady ambushed me. Falchion and Saber. Uh, that's a new weapon. So this is the thing they were talking about. At the request of his majesty, the king, Antoine Lavoyeur, devised a process for concentrating oil. He was unaware of what his discovery would be used for. Applied to Eugene de Vaucanson's automates, it, is ena uh, it enabled the number of doses available in each burette to be increased once and for all. Okay. That's like, uh, increases the number of stuff you can carry, I'm guessing. Flame grenade? Holy shit. Awesome. I don't want to put the flame grenade in here somewhere. Are you kidding me? Is that a trap? Oh, that's a lady. Didn't even realize you were there, lady. Sorry about that. Oh, I just dodged out of the way of the freaking fire, man. All right, gotcha. Gotcha. See you later. Sayonara. What's this do? Essence of a lesser spirit. Sweet. I need a bronze ingot, though, you know? Fulmination resistance vial. Two more. What do those do? The pier. In the queen's drawing room. Reach the banks of the scene and take a boat to Paris. Okay. We made it. Is there going to be a boss fight here? You get the feeling there is. Something's going to happen. Hey, you look cool. This boat will take me to Paris. No doubt. Oh, Jesus. Maybe that's why I need the fulmination resistance things or whatever. Because this is going to be bad, isn't it? Oh, I can't pause it. I can't pause it. Well. Let's use a flame grenade. Fuck it. Oh, okay. 89. Come on, boy. 
I really need to get into my inventory right now. Yes, there we go. Okay, this is the one that uh, is better, is good against lightning, the insulation elixir. Come on, boy. Oh, shit. Not that good against the... He's still going to batter you with it, pal. Come on, boy. Oh, that still hit me. Shit. Haha! <laughs> Sucker! Oh, Jesus. I think I got out of that just in time. Just in time, son. All right, we have him about a third of the way down. Come on, what's up? Is that all you got, son? Shit. Need to stop being so aggressive, man. Yes, we knocked him down with that. Hit him. Hit him with the old one-two uni flu. Yes! Haha! -ha! That was nice, man. He's, this gun is lit. Does some serious frost damage, man. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. Yes! Come on. Ah, that was nice, man. Gorgeous stuff. Really good. We've just enough health to finish him off here. Yeah! Sucker. Grade 2 stable charging module. Okay. And a module key. Grade 2 stable charging module. Okay. So that's like an upgraded version or whatever. Sweet. You are dead, son. Gotcha dead to rights. All right, to Paris we go, I suppose. Travel to Paris. All right. That was awesome. That was a fun boss. We completed two bosses, guys. I, I'm insane at this game. Now, they haven't been, like, massively difficult. I can see it definitely getting a lot more challenging as we go, but uh, really enjoying the game so far. It's, it's quite fun, I must say. Quite fun, and it's not, like, just off-puttingly difficult either. It's challenging, but it's not, like, off-puttingly difficult. I, I'm assuming it gets a lot... A lot more difficult as we go, no doubt, but um, let's try and see if we can get one of those Vestals or whatever. Sailor, we got our first trophy. Sweet. Reach Paris by boat. Hell yeah, baby. There's got to be a Vestal nearby, right? Surely, I just completed a boss, man. Don't make me go a long distance without getting a Vestal. I keep pressing the wrong button to sprint here. Hey, buddy. A frost grenade? That sounds cool. I should probably fix my shit here, because we got all thrown out. We need some health tokens and shit. I should probably buy some at the, the place where we're going to. And a Vestal. Immobilization. Aegis's light weapons are able to inflict immobilization damage as shown in the immobilization gauge. When the gauge is filled, the en enemies temporarily immobilize, leaving them to open to a critical hit. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And there is a Vestal, thank God. Essence of a Lesser Spirit. I think we got two of them now, actually. So I should probably have that in here all, at all times, to be honest. Like, just so we can easily use it. All right, let's... Uh, use all of these so we can spend everything in here. We got a lot. 2,743 is quite a bit. Quite a bit indeed it is. We can upgrade something and... See where we go from there. Alright, upgrades. What should we upgrade, though? Engineering. I'll go with agility. Okay, so doses. We can increase our number of doses from two to three. Might as well upgrade that. Let me buy some stuff here. I want to buy... Ah, the alchemical capsules is the ammo. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. So if I have my gun equipped while I'm killing people, I think that will give me more ammo. Let's buy some ammo, actually. 
And let's buy some health st stuff as well. I'll buy four health things. I don't know. I think I should still have enough to do one more upgrade here. Yeah, I do. Oh, no. It costs more now. Ah, shit. I literally... Uh, uh, ah, I need like 40 more to get one more upgrade. I could probably sell something to do that, though. Oh, I can sell this for a thousand. Jesus. Yeah, okay. I'll sell the stuff that I'm not wearing. 100%. Right, let's uh, upgrade also to engineering. Module slot level insufficient. Okay, so I have to upgrade the slot level of the module. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We've made it to Paris, though. We've made it to the pier. Igis mort de gros caillou. A fallback. I don't know how to say these words, man. French people, what's your issue? Igis must fight her way to Monsieur de Vaucanson's workshop. God, I just sound like an idiot when I'm saying that shit. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to end part one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a big like. That's the best way to let me know you do enjoy it. If you want to see a full series on Steel Rising, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be more than happy to accommodate you, or an attempted full series at least, because <laughs> I'm not sure I can complete this game, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so far, I'm pretty confident. Happy with it. And I uh, can't wait to see um, if you guys enjoyed this video and what your feedback is. So see you next time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.